Elizabeth Clare Prophet preaches the everlasting gospel and brings to you the true teachings of Jesus Christ and the illumination of the scriptures by the Holy Spirit. The science of healing is the science of harmony. And harmony is the foundation of the law of love. And the law of love sustains the nucleus of light in the heart of every atom and molecule and cell. Many virulent diseases today come about through the attack on the cell by the virus or other unknown organisms. We realize that the cell is the basic form of life and the point of the defense of life. If the cell can be violated, then the cell breaks down, has difficulty in functioning, may be entirely taken over, and then cell by cell, we observe as our friends and loved ones experience deterioration, whether in the muscles, whether by cancer, whether by nuclear fallout, toxicity in the environment, harmful chemicals, plastics, drugs, the invasion of the body, of those who dwell on earth in this age is from every direction as though the cell itself as a sphere of life were attacked from 360 degrees. This pollution is not only physical, it occurs in the mental plane, in the collective consciousness of the race, it is in the emotional body of the people and the common pool of world emotions, and it is in the mass memory or the subconscious memory of the race. Harmony is the great key, therefore, to wholeness. We contact harmony by giving and receiving love, by balancing the forces in our physical bodies, by balancing the mind and the heart, and attempting to lead sane, realistic lives where we discover that the only real reason worth living is that fountain of love that originates in God and gives meaning to all of our relationships, one with the other, and especially with Christ and with our I Am Presence. On the path of healing that we pursue under the teachings of the Ascended Masters, we are after the healing of causes. Discord is a sin which you commit against the law of your own being. To be harmonious demands discipline, self-discipline, and a will to be love in action, to be the peace of God where you are. Why do we pursue this? Because we understand that there will never be peace on earth unless it begins with the individual. The stilling of the mind and heart is pursued through meditation. But beyond meditation, there is a science of the spoken word. The affirmation, positively and in the name of God, of good things, of wholeness and health. It is written in the book of Job, Thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. The power of speech is the power of the decree. It is an affirmation. When we affirm in the name of God, 
I am. It is the power of God and of his name that becomes the fulfillment of our decree. This is the greatest single gift of God to his sons and daughters, and it is the means to the escape from discord, from inharmony, from all of the conditions of sin, disease, and death to which we are heirs on this planet. The principle of healing which Jesus taught is based on the science of the release of the light that is already within you, within your I am presence, the divine monad that you see above me in the chart of the presence, within your Christ self, the middle figure in that chart, who is the mediator between your evolving soul and the perfect Godhead above. Within your heart chakra, there is a threefold flame that is a center of sacred fire. Within every cell, there is a sun of light. Within every atom, there is a nucleus of cosmic forces of Alpha and Omega. The science of the spoken word releases these sources of light by the flame of harmony to reestablish the wholeness which we knew in the beginning with God. Let us take an exercise in a dynamic decree of the word with the understanding of its mathematics and science. We are going to take the command of Christ wholeness in our decree books. It is the green section, number 50.02. When we meditate on the wholeness of our original design and upon our blueprint, we use the color green Green is the color of life, life-giving chlorophyll. The manifestation of green everywhere on the planet is the result of the effect of the sun on the environment, on organic and inorganic life. We understand the principle of photosynthesis. We understand the principle of the cells of life drinking in that life force. This decree is a command to the very atoms, cells, and electrons of your life. When we unite the power of the heart, which is love, the power of the mind, which is vision and understanding, with the power of the spoken word, we can see the trinity of God in action. The command that is given in this decree goes like this. O oh, atoms, cells, electrons, within this form of mine, let heaven's own perfection make me now divine. The spirals of Christ's wholeness enfold me by his might. I am the master presence commanding be all light. When we speak directly to the atoms and cells and electrons of our being with this command, we do it only and solely by the authority of Christ with us. Jesus said, even the hairs of your head are numbered. If the hairs of the head are numbered, is not everything else mathematically magnificently conceived, and therefore why should it not respond to the heart of the Creator and his creative intent that we should become co-creators with him? This is why he gave us life, energy, consciousness, free will, and a beautiful planet in which to evolve. So we would command the same light which he commanded in the beginning when he said, let there be light, and there was light. Our father said it in the person of Elohim. We are the offspring of Elohim. Therefore, the seed must be like the parent plant. We also can say with our father who made us, let there be light. Let 
there be light. Let there be light. Let there be light. Now we will give these eight lines together with an intense fervor of love and acceptance and an understanding of exactly what we are saying. Together. O oh, atoms, cells, electrons, within this form of mine, let heaven's own perfection make me now divine. The spirals of Christ's wholeness enfold me by his might. I am the master presence commanding be all light. O oh, atoms, cells, electrons, within this form of mine, let heaven's own perfection make me now divine. The spirals of Christ's wholeness enfold me by his might. I am the master presence commanding be all light. O oh, atom, cells, electrons, within this form of mine, let heaven's own perfection make me now divine. The spirals of Christ's wholeness enfold me by his might. I am the master presence commanding be all light. Now we take the first verse of this mantra, and this is what it says. I am God's perfection manifest in body, mind, and soul. This is not only a decree, it is a statement of divine law. It is the absolute truth concerning who and what you are and the purpose to which you were created. I am God's perfection manifest in body, mind, and soul. To this affirmation we bring the divine memory of our soul, of a pre-existence in God. We bring our desire to be that perfection. We bring our love for the God who made it. And so all of our love and all of our understanding expands the power of the decree to manifest. The next line, I am God's direction flowing to heal and keep me whole. This God's direction flowing we visualize as the mighty river of life descending from the I am presence depicted in the chart behind me. The river of life in you is the crystal cord. It is a ribbon of light which sustains your heartbeat and the sacred fire that is in that threefold flame. We realize then that the flow of the river of life, also revealed in the book of Revelation, is the never-ending source to every son and daughter of God of the energy whereby that son and daughter can ascend back to the source whence he has descended into form. In order to get where we are going, we affirm it by the law of harmony. Let's do it. I am God's perfection manifest in body, mind, and soul. I am God's direction flowing to heal and keep me whole. I am God's perfection manifest in body, mind, and soul. I am God's direction flowing to heal and keep me whole. I am God's perfection manifest in body, mind, and soul. I am God's direction flowing to heal and keep me whole. We take then the next mantra of affirmation. I am God's perfect image. My form is charged by love. Let shadows now diminish. Be blessed by Comfort's Dove. Comfort's Dove is the Dove of the Holy Comforter, of the Holy Spirit. So we are invoking the Holy Spirit now to reinforce our affirmation. We say, I am God's perfect image. This means where I am, there God is, and he is manifesting his perfect image here and now. 
My form is charged by love. I decree it, I accept it, I am it. Because God ordained it, I am free to decree it. I am confirming God's will for me when I decree. Let shadows now diminish is a fiat. Let them diminish. I am commanding that where I stand, in my mind and heart, in my feelings, all shadows, worries, fears, depression will now diminish. I accept it, and I do not return to the old qualification of those negatives. Let shadows now diminish, be blessed by comfort's dove. Let's give it together. I am God's perfect image. My form is charged by love. Let shadows now diminish, be blessed by comfort's dove. I am God's perfect image. My form is charged by love. Let shadows now diminish, be blessed by comfort's dove. I am God's perfect image, my form is charged by love. Let shadows now diminish, be blessed by comfort's dove. The next we take says this. O oh, blessed Jesus, Master dear, send thy ray of healing here. Fill me with thy life above. Raise me in thine arm of love. This is a command combined with a prayer. It is a plea for help. It is given with the understanding that we have the promise. Whatsoever ye ask the Father in my name, I will give it you. Wherever two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst thereof. Ask, and it shall be given unto you. Therefore, prayer is a means of calling to God and creating the matrix of the desire of our hearts, of what we desire to receive or magnetize from that source. Let us give it with great love to the heart of Jesus. O oh, blessed Jesus, Master dear, send thy ray of healing here. Fill me with thy life above, raise me in thine arms of love. O oh, blessed Jesus, Master dear, send thy ray of healing here. Fill me with thy life above, raise me in thine arms of love. O oh, blessed Jesus, Master dear, send thy ray of healing here. Fill me with thy life above, raise me in thine arms of love. We take the next section of the mantra. I am Christ's healing presence, all shining like a mercy sun. I am that pure perfection, my perfect healing one. When we say I am Christ's healing presence, we are saying the mighty I am presence in me is Christ's healing presence. And it is shining like a mercy sun. This is a whirling sun of light around your heart and the mercy sun is the color of the violet flame the seventh ray of the seventh age of aquarius it is the vibration of the seventh angel saint germain and therefore what is this mercy sun it whirls and spins by the violet flame which is for the alchemy of transmutation it transmutes the records which have caused the disease, records of inharmony. All sin comes down to one, in harmony. Fear is in harmony, doubt is in harmony, anger is in harmony, resentment, revenge, all of these are in harmony and they affect the life of the cell and its functioning. Now we are affirming that Christ with us is shining like a mercy sun and the whirling light consumes the darkness. The next affirmation is, I am that pure perfection, my perfect healing one. Even when we are continuing to experience some burden or another, we affirm that the healing is one. 
The healing is one in the etheric body, which has been called the L field, the life field. This L field exists even when there is physical death. It is the etheric matrix. It is the body your soul wears when it no longer has a physical form. It is the origin of your life and your physical body simply manifests in conformity to that etheric body. The mental body and the emotional body are on the way of the journey which the energy must take. The river of life passes first through the etheric body, the highest vibrating body, then through the mind, then through the emotions, and finally to the physical chalice or the physical cup. So if the stream is contaminated on the way, the physical body is not restored. So we affirm the perfection of the healing one, then we sustain it by right thought and action. Let's give it together. I am Christ's healing presence, all shining like a mercy sun. I am that pure perfection, my perfect healing one. I am Christ's healing presence, all shining like a mercy sun. I am that pure perfection, my perfect healing one. I am Christ's healing presence, all shining like a mercy sun. I am that pure perfection, my perfect healing one. Now the final verse of this decree is a wonderful fiat that you can give. It's an expression of your free will in action. It says, I charge and charge and charge myself with radiant I am light. I feel the flow of purity that now makes all things right. Now some of you may be thinking that this is merely the power of positive thinking. Nothing could be farther from the truth. This is the power of the Godhead resident in you. Your word now becomes one with a word of Christ. This is actually the decree of the Lord Christ for your being, and you are entering into his decree and affirming it. The I within you is always the I of the real self, who is God. Therefore, in God and of God, we decree. I charge and charge and charge myself with radiant I am light. I feel the flow of purity that now makes all things right. I charge and charge and charge myself with radiant I am light. I feel the flow of purity that now makes all things right. I charge and charge and charge myself with radiant I am light. I feel the flow of purity that now makes all things right. This is a scientific formula for healing. It comes true and becomes real in your life when you endow your word with love, with understanding, and with power. Now let's put all of the building blocks together and say it from beginning to end. Together. I am God's perfection manifest in body, mind, and soul. I am God's direction flowing to heal and keep me whole. Oh, atom cells, electrons within this form of mind. Let heaven's own perfection make me now divine. The spirals of Christ's wholeness enfold me by his might. I am the master presence commanding be all light. I am God's perfect image. My form is charged by love. Let shadows now diminish. Be blessed by comfort's dove. Oh, Adam sells electrons within this form of mine. Let heaven's own perfection make me now divine. The spirals of Christ's wholeness enfold me by his might. I am the master presence commanding be all light. 
Oh, blessed Jesus, Master dear, send thy ray of healing here. Fill me with thy life above, raise me in thine arms of love. Oh, atom cells, electrons, within this form of mine, let heaven's own perfection make me now divine. The spirals of Christ's wholeness enfold me by his might. I am the master presence, commanding be all light. I am Christ's healing presence, all shining like a mercy sun. I am that pure perfection, my perfect healing one. O oh, atom cells, electron, within this form of mine, let heaven's own perfection make me now divine. The spirals of Christ's wholeness enfold me by his might. I am the master presence, commanding me all light. I charge and charge and charge myself with radiant I am light. I feel the flow of purity that now makes all things right. Oh, Adam cells, electrons within this form of mine, let heaven's own perfection make me now divine. The spirals of Christ's wholeness enfold me by his might. I am the master presence commanding be all light. 